new journal and guide. Subscribe today. My name is Brenda Andrews. I am the publisher and owner of the new journal and guide newspaper, which has been in the city of Norfolk for 112 years. We are excited to be a part of today's program and to be participating in this discussion on fathers and daughters. Secretary will be coming in shortly, and we certainly want to commend him and congratulate him for his recent appointment as under Secretary of the U.S. United States Department of HUD. It is so important, and uh, you know, the significance of this gathering is it's on the eve of Father's Day. And like most fathers, Mark, I'm looking forward to tomorrow <laughs> to see what I'm going to re receive. <laughs> from my son and my daughter. <laughs> so I made go all over the place while we're waiting for the secretary. I mentioned the fact that I have a daughter and a son. And for many years, I was a, so, somewhat of an absentee father because I was pursuing my own goals of obtaining higher education, lived in New England for a while, going to school, and then many of you know I was mayor of Chesapeake for a long time. And, traveling all over the world for the city of Chesapeake. And when I went away to my doctoral work in Massachusetts, my daughter was only three years old. My son was seven. And I can remember my daughter standing on the steps of the house. I want to get emotional here. <laughs> and how, you know, she would just look at me with such sad eyes and what have you. There's one story I'll tell. And I was in, in New England, and my wife was working on her degree at Virginia Tech. And my daughter had a toothache or something, and she had to go to the dentist. Some way, her grandmother contacted me in New England. I had to catch a special flight back home uh, to pacify or just hold my daughter, three-year-old daughter. Uh, so daughters are very important to dentists. And that is a very important to daughters. My son also. I don't want to tell Michael I don't love him as well. Uh, but with that in mind, and also as mayor, I was a member of the National Fatherhood Initiative. And as mayor, I established the Fatherhood Initiative program in Chesapeake, uh, which I felt was very, very important. It was a very successful program. I don't think the city has continued that program. But I certainly want to commend all of you who had organizations that still work with uh, young men and also young, young ladies. I'm reminded of a book that was written not long ago by Dr. Linda Nielsen, author of Embracing Your Father and Building the Relationship You Want with Your Dad. And in this article, Dr. Nielsen pointed out several ways in which uh, a strong relationship between fathers and daughters uh, can be effective. Uh, achieving academic and career success, especially in math and science. And here again, I point to my two kids who are successful professionals who went on to college and they have uh, a great job and what have you. Uh, roles played a great role in making sure that they did their homework. But it was important that I be there to support Rose, Dr. Rose Ward and my wife, some of you may know her, uh, in that effort. So I can create a love and trust relationship with a man. You know, even today, my daughter calls the house every day uh, to talk to either her mother or to me, uh, and that relationship has grown stronger between the two of us over this for some, some years. Thirdly, dealing well with people in authority, especially men. So the nurturing that my daughter and your daughter's father received from you has been responsible for her or them being successful in life because they have dealt with strong positive role models, male role models, and I think that's an important factor. Being self-confident and self-reliant. Uh, certainly, I can see that in my daughter, I'm sure her fathers, you can see that in your daughters, your granddaughters. I have a 13-year-old granddaughter who is very <laughs> uh, independent. 
independent thinker. And she knows what she wants and what she wants to do. Uh, being willing to try new things and to accept challenges. That's something that I didn't do. You know, many of us old timers, once we get into a position, we feel secure, we stay there. I was here for 30 some years as a classroom teacher. And my daughter and my son, they've had several moves in their short professional careers. Maintaining good mental health, very, very important. As I mentioned, flying back from Massachusetts, and I think that gave my daughter a sense of comfort that her daddy was willing to come back from his uh, works in Massachusetts to be with her during that period of time. We have, I've always done that, and we have always had that great relationship. Also, it helps a daughter and a son uh, with expressing anger, anger comfortably and appropriately, especially with men. Because oftentimes, we see our children uh, lashing out, and maybe more so at daddy than at mom. And I think that a good, strong, positive relationship between father and daughters help to mitigate uh, those anger uh, issues and what have you. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment.